Hey there, it's Zach from Engadget, and we're here at Garmin's booth at CES with Kip, and we're going to take a look at the K2 infotainment platform. Great, thanks. It's, uh, it's great to have the opportunity to walk you through the latest uh, prototype from Garmin. Uh, this is the K2 glass cockpit, uh, which we're developing for the OEM space, and everything you see here is designed and manufactured by Garmin. Uh, in the center stack display, there's a 10.4 inch capacitive touch screen. Um, below that are mode buttons that allow you to quickly and easily jump from one mode to another without taking your eyes off the road, as well as audio preset buttons b below that. In the, center, in the, in the uh, instrument cluster, we have um, a 12 inch uh, all digital display that allows you to see summary information about each mode in the vehicle. And using steering wheel controls, I can, I can shift between audio navigation information which would be showing lane guidance and turn-by-turn -turn information if we were actively routing to a destination. Um, this is information that's coming off of the smartphone that is tethered over Bluetooth using a Garmin app and so it's giving you information about incoming messages, phone calls, text messages um, and it allows you to then pull up that information uh, either on the center console display when it's safe to do so or to have that information read to you while you're driving. And then the last mode is the vehicle mode, which shows uh, relevant information about uh, temperature and, and miles per gallon. The system has a fully functional uh, media player, which has all of the uh, various types of sources, both onboard and offboard, that you would expect. Here we're playing from a USB uh, drive, but we could switch to Pandora or to an SD card, whatever. Uh, however you like to manage your content. More interestingly is, the na is navigation and what we have implemented for the first time here is not only the Garmin um, Navcore that has uh, e significant ease of use compared to the competition but we also have uh, enhanced uh, 3D city graphics. So we have very powerful 3D uh, capabilities uh, in the hardware that's, that's on board in the system and we have data that allows us to show uh, very realistic building representations as well as landmarks. Here we're driving past Grant Park in downtown Chicago. You can see landmarks such as the Millennium uh, being off to the right and then other buildings that are notable buildings like theaters and the Wrigley Building, things like that that are reference points show up as almost realistic photos uh, in this as well. Communications is also another interesting part of the system. Again, I mentioned before that we have this system tethered over Bluetooth, and that allows you to access basically any data that's on the phone as well as to access consumer apps. So for example, I can see all of the contacts on this phone. As you can see we had a little bit of fun with this, and we made this Abe Lincoln's uh, smartphone and the type of contacts that might exist on that. And so you can get contact photos as well as all of the email and relevant phone numbers for each contact, whatever exists on your phone. That also gives you the ability as well to pull up text messages and, and see threaded conversations just like you would on your phone. Similarly for email, we can pull up email as well. Next I want to talk about other connected features of the system. Here we have, here we have the message center and in the message center, up. Oh, Okay, so I just used my own personal smartphone to send an email uh, to Abe Lincoln's phone, and you can see that we get a pop-up that, that allows us to play that message. Email from Mary Todd Lincoln. Don't forget about our plans tonight. Theater at 7. So you're able to get, uh, again, in a way that that, that pop-up would have sat there until it was safe for you to, to look down at it and hit the play button. So with the message center, you have a variety of different tools that each driver of the vehicle can choose from. You can have uh, information that comes in over your phone, such as sports scores and headlines. You can have those things read to you. Green Bay beat Minnesota 24-10. Baltimore beat Indianapolis 24-9. You have other things such as weather. So you can see weather in the Chicago area, which again is where we're pretending this vehicle is situated. You can pull up from our Garmin Connected Services uh, weather maps as well as a weather forecast. You have the ability, again, to get into text messaging and into your email from the message center. You can see what's on your calendar, again, pulling information in from the smartphone, and you're able to look at the details around those calendar events. 
Lastly, I'll dismiss the message center. I also wanted to talk about, um, and while I do this, I might as well have it navigate somewhere. I also wanted to talk about the offboard natural language functionality of the system. So people are used to being able to talk to their smartphones through Siri and, and other types of uh, features. You can do the same thing with this vehicle to ask it questions without having to remember key commands. So for example, I might, I might ask the system, where can I get a beer? Trade. The system goes off board, interprets that. Sure. Beer. There's a place called Tilted Kill Pub and Eatery just And provide you with Dash a pub Avenue, that's nearby. Dearborn Street. Or I might ask it. How can I help you? What's the weather going to be like tomorrow in Las Vegas? Now turn right onto North Dearborn Street. The forecast in Las Vegas, Nevada tomorrow is a high of 60 and a low of 41 degrees, and partly cloudy. Or I might need some place to park. How can I help you? Where's the nearest parking lot? In point two miles, continue straight ahead. Let's see. Parking. There's a place called Millennium Park Garage just ahead on South Columbus Drive. So again, this is still a work in progress. We are continuing to develop this product. What you're seeing is the result of the last four or five months of Garmin's now engineering effort. Ahead, um, the automotive OEM business is a strategic priority for Garmin, and we think that K2 is going to help us continue to grow that business.